in the garden this morning at 549. If, uh, let's say you're, you've got uh, an autumn breakfast or luncheon, you can decorate your table with citrus pumpkins. Chris H. Olson with Botanica is here with ideas. I still can't get used to the H. Chris I H. know. I mean, it's been, what, a year now, a year and a half? Yeah. Well, same thing. Well, you know, this is a great uh, project uh, that could involve kids, but this is also a healthy project because this can be edible. You know, if you peel the oranges, grapefruits, tangerines, any type of citrus makes perfect little citrus pumpkins. And okay. I already went ahead and peeled a few things for you now. And I have to tell you, there's different types of products out there that you can help peel and make this easy, or I did it by hand. And what happens when you do it by hand is, for example, oranges are the hardest. You can peel yeah. it and you still have the, the, the bottom part of the peel there, so you have to take a knife and you, you just have to shave it away. You have to yeah. shave it away because our whole goal is we want to see the flesh because it's the orange color we want to see because it's going to be our, our pumpkin. So if you're patient, you can do that. Okay. Grapefruits are the same, but they are easier. You can see this is a pink grapefruit, so I like to mix my colors. Looks really good. The easiest are tangerines. tangerines. I didn't oh, have yeah. to do anything but peel them once and that was it. And they already have the hole in the center for the stem. So once you do that, then you get your celery and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our stems. Celery? Celery. You're using celery. Yeah. Huh? So there's your center in that one. Boom. <laughs> Looks like a little pumpkin. Isn't that fun? So that's one way oh to do it. And then gosh. sometimes okay. you may have to cut the little top. Now this is good because if you're doing a luncheon or a breakfast, this is something that people can take and they'll eat it. Right. So that's why we're, we're going ahead and peeling them. And then sometimes you have to cut a little hole. Have to round out a little hole. Yeah, then I'm going to show you another way to do this in a way to display it as well. So we're going to put our little stem in there. So now we got two little pumpkins and let's do an orange. Now sometimes if they're wobbly, we just slice the bottom to flatten them out a little bit. Okay. And then we cut a hole. So now we have three different types of fruit that we created our little pumpkins from. Now, another way to do it is if you're not going to eat them, you can go ahead and just take it unpeeled, which is wonderful, sure, and sure. mix it with real pumpkins and gourds. It makes a great display. Just cut the end out? Yeah, there? we just cut the, okay. the top like that. We just need a little bit of an area so we can put our stem in, clean that out, and remember we do shove it and cram it, and boom, <laughs> and that looks great. Now, you're asking how would you display these? I like taking some type of... Uh, a tray and a pedestal. Okay. I'm doing an apple green with a fall color. I went out in the weather garden. These are Boston ivy leaves. So make sure you don't get poisonous leaves or yeah, poison, poison ivy. ivy. Put it on poison yeah. ivy. <laughs> you know? And these are not quite turning fall colors, but that one has a little bit of yeah. red. Yeah, little and you just there. scatter them on the plate like this. And this is going to help make our display look real beautiful. And then we can display our fruit ready for people to eat. Put a little bit, some of them at an angle and that type of thing. And then that one there. And then I'll even mix in even some real gourds. gourds and mm -hmm. stuff like that just to get a look. And then what you have is a beautiful display that people can come and eat it and it's edible and healthy for you. Or you could uh, use it just to smell up the house a little bit. Make you know, it, uh, great nice point. Scent, good citrus smell. It's, scent, it, you odor, smell it out here. It's, it's great to add for fragrance. Absolutely. Fragrance was the word I'm looking for. Odor sounds <laughs> negative. <laughs>